Aquavit has their its special spices, and and uh, Swedish Aquavit has caraway. Of course, it's there because it needs to be there, and then aniseed and fennel seed. In the north of Sweden, surrounded by endless forests, lies the O.P. Andersson Distillery, a place full of stories. Most of the traditional um, aquavit spices or spice spirit spices have uh, a purpose, a medicinal purpose. And with caraway, it's to uh, improve your digestion. Uh, and the same actually with fennel. Uh, aniseed, though, has another one, and that's to prolong life. The belief was uh, that if you had a bad breath, you were rotting from the inside and you wouldn't live very long. Uh, and if you could get rid of that bad breath, you would, the rotting would stop and you could cure that with aniseed. Because if you have aniseed flavored spirits and you drink that, you get a fresh breath and then you, your life would be longer. Uh, there is no, no <laughs> scientific evidence for this, but um, at least you, you feel good when you drink uh, Aquavit Spice with those spices. In our distillery, uh, we have uh, an aim to have as much uh, sustainable product as, as possible. Um, one part of that is to have organic products and then we need organic spices. That's a challenge for us because it's harder to grow in an organic manner than to grow traditional. So, so it's really something that makes our, our, all my work more difficult. But it's also really important and it has been for 20 years. When the spices arrive here, we put them into storage until we are refining the flavors from the spices. And there are two ways of doing that. One is just to, to steep them in, in alcohol and water uh, and extract the flavors. And then you take away the spices and you have a spice extract. The other way is to do this extraction in a pot still to get the spice distillate and that you'd need to do if you want to make an aquavit because you, you extract other flavors but a very, very highly concentrated aroma from the spices. When we have used the spices, uh, we take care of the residues. We try to, to have so little waste as possible. Uh, and what can you do with the spice residue? Uh, our solution now is actually to to send it to the local uh, producer of, uh, of heat, uh, hot water and so on, and then they, they burn it to get uh, the energy out of it. 